Hello children. Welcome to English online class. Yes children, in this class let us see the meaning of the poem Nature's Alphabet by Tony Mitten. Okay children, unit 6, first poem of second semester. Okay children, so the title of the poem itself tells us this poem is about nature and alphabet. Right children? See the poem here. The poet Tony Milton is explaining the nature with alphabet. You know no children? A to Z. Alphabet. So he is explaining the nature with this alphabet. Like this. See, see the poem? A for an apple. B for a bean. C for a caterpillar. Plump and green. D for a daisy. E for an egg, F for a frog with a springy leg. So here first and second stanza you can see he is explaining nature with this alphabet. So A for an apple, B for a bean with the picture you can see here. And C for a caterpillar. Caterpillar plum means what? Round and flat. Okay. Plum means round and flat and green. So, D for a daisy. Daisy means this flower. You can see here, small white flower with a yellow center. This is daisy flower. Okay, children. E for an egg. F for a frog with a springy leg. Springy means, you know, no? Jumping. Jumping leg. Like this here in first and second stanza, poet is explaining. Let us see third and fourth stanza. Over the earth there is an ABC of living and growing on leaf and tree. If you are not careful, we will get to Z and find the whole alphabet dry and dead. So it means the poet is trying to explain to us that earth is full of plants, trees and animals. Right children? So it is made up of living and growing things. So, nature is very important part of our life. Right children? So, that's why we should take care of our nature and our planet. If we do not do so, what happens? What happens children? Nature will completely be ruined. Right? So, we should take care of our earth. We should take care of our nature. Because it gives us oxygen to breathe. Right children? So we should take care of nature. So here the poet Tony Mitten is also explaining about this. He is trying to explain this one only. You should take care of our mother earth. Like this children. So we should care. We should see the plants and trees. We should plant more and more trees. Understood children, you should take care of our mother nature. Understood? So this is about nature's alphabet poem. So this is about today's session children. Read this poem once. Okay? Memorize this poem children. Have a good day. Take care.